If you're a beginner and want to get started in the field of cybersecurity, it can get quite overwhelming. I was scrolling through social media and found a lot of questions surrounding on where to start in cybersecurity. I want to talk to you today on where you can go to look for some answers for your journey into this field. The first thing I would recommend is to think about the why. Why cybersecurity? What interested you in this field? Was it something specific? The money? Or maybe your friend is in cybersecurity and you want to do something similar. If you want to learn about cybersecurity and don't want to spend any money doing so, I would suggest you take a look into Certified in Cybersecurity as this will go over some of the common topics that will teach you more about what cybersecurity is and has to offer. Secondly, if you ended up taking the Certified in Cybersecurity and you really enjoyed it, the next step would then be to find your domain of interest and dive deeper into the topics of cybersecurity. To do that, you can look into free training or pay what you can courses. However, the one I usually recommend is Google's cybersecurity program offered by Coursera. In fact, I created a video on how you can get started in cybersecurity in one year, which I will leave down below or you can click anywhere. A lot of the resources are included in that video. So if you have not yet watched it, I highly recommend you do so. Third, start looking into certifications, especially the beginner friendly ones, such as CompTIA Security Plus, as this is one of the main ones that HR tends to look for. Network Plus or CCNA is a huge bonus as these will teach you the networking fundamentals, which you will need in the field of cybersecurity. Fourth, once you identify your domain of interest and obtain certifications, look into hands-on experiences relating to those domains. For example, if you are interested in risk assessments, you want to look into Try Hack Me or Hack the Box for labs. And if you're interested in security operations, look into Cyber Defenders, Let's Defend, or Blue Team Level 1 for labs. Getting those hands-on experiences will allow you to bridge the gap and allow you to apply theory into practical learning experiences. Lastly, create a blog post on any free website such as LinkedIn, GitHub, Medium, and many others. Document the things that you learned and or walkthroughs that helped you accomplish a particular lab. I mean, you took the time and worked hard on accomplishing those labs. Have a place to show for it. To recap, where to start in cybersecurity? Number one, identify your purpose into this field. Number two, learn more about cybersecurity by enrolling in ISC2 certified in cybersecurity. Number three, if you are truly interested, look into other courses, free or paid, to expand your knowledge, such as Google's cybersecurity program offered by Coursera. Number four, identify your domain of interest. There are a ton in cybersecurity. Number five, work towards beginner-friendly certifications like CompTIA Security Plus. Number six, make some time and perform hands-on labs related to your domain of interest. And number seven, create a blog post documenting your progress and walkthroughs on those labs. Hopefully, this will help you obtain a better understanding on where to get started and how. If you are a student or a professional that wants to transition into cybersecurity, I want you to know that I offer free mentorship on my site with no strings attached. On there, you will also see products that I've personally created in which you can download to help guide you along this journey. These products include resume and cover letter templates, bookmarks, a one-year roadmap on how to get started in cybersecurity, and a list of interview questions to help you in your next interview. Also, as a sneak peek, I am in the process of creating a SOC course where there will be over 20 hands-on labs and multiple projects that you can put onto your resume. You can join the waitlist if you choose to do so. My mission here is to help you get to where you want to be. And that is it for the video, and I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, let me know by hitting that like button and subscribe if you want to. Remember to stay curious and do things differently.